The right-wing challenger had good reason to be jubilant. Polls a day after Benjamin Netanyahu's only debate with Prime Minister Shimon Peres showed the American-educated Bibi had closed the gap almost to the point of neck and neck. He argued Israelis will be more safe and secure if they elect him. In Jerusalem, Perez was momentarily a loser, but all in fun. He took on an Israeli chess grandmaster. The result was not unexpected. The big match for Perez is two days away, and he's confident. I don't have any plan to lose. The Paris campaign has two end games, security and solid peace. In Gaza and the West Bank, Palestinians most want the election just to be over. They can't return to work in Israel until it is. Those who actively support Paris have little doubt he will win Israel's first direct election of a prime minister. At his campaign headquarters, they gave him a righteous welcome. Paris is banking on its range, being more afraid of peace breaking down than of militant Islamic suicide.